Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to this wonderful game of Object in Space. We have just delivered a giant plasma cannon. Uh, <laughs> uh, undetected, fortunately. Uh, so that was probably a very good idea. And now we have to proceed with other things before we are paid. Uh, let's see. Go to the Lonely Prison Mines in Diwali and retrieve Bronislava Yulianova's letter from the prison guard there. Then message it to Mahoika. Okay. We still need to go to our old colleague sometime. Let's see if there's anyone else in this place. For some reason, the game, uh, the game's frames per second are all over the place when you change uh, screens. Right now it's 60. I have it locked at 60. There's no reason to go above that. Right now it's 50. Now it's 60 again. Now it's 11, 40, 50, 60. It's so, it's so weird. It's, it's quite bizarre. Anyway, right. Uh, licenses. Magellan Empire is the largest empire in the Apollo cluster and outside of its home star system of Magellan has operations in Maru, Kansa, and Galileo. Offices, blah, blah, blah. We should probably buy this license. I mean, it's 500, but that's pretty good. Uh, right, so we said we needed to go to Diwali. Nothing goes to Diwali, does it? Arsis, yeah. Oh, wow, this is within the system. 18 explosives. Zaragoza Orbital Station. Wait, where is Zaragoza? Isn't that right next to this one? It is. It's right there. What? Because right now, I think we're... What? I thought there was another space station there. No, we were at... Z no, wait, wait. We were at Zaragoza, aren't we? And this one needs to go to... Oh, the Sala station. Where is the Sala station? Molokasa? What? I, I wish I could zoom out here. I don't, I don't see the Sala station here. That's weird. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Alright, there you got computers, below market price. All of this stuff is below market price, but when you get to the place where you want to sell it, it's suddenly, you know, not worth it at all. I don't know. Let's re request, request permission to go. System damaged. What, this one as well now? Oh, oh no, there's a comms. Okay, never mind. Um, right. So let's... Yeah, I wish I could see the names of the stations here, but oh well. So what did, what did we get? <sighs> the prison guy there, Diwali. Alright, let's go to Diwali. It's quite a jump. No, I don't want to dock. Because we need to go to sector B. So what? So we got the licenses, of course. Oh, the contracts which are complete. And the Magellan Empire welcome. Alright. That's pretty good. We're probably gonna get scanned I, by uh, Nimble. Uh, once again, I forgot to change the name of the captain and the ship, but oh well. Speed things up for now. Oh, there's some news. El Camino prepared to be scanned. There we go. Oh, we don't have anything on board that's uh, bad, so that's all right. Search for Neja continues. Following the uncanny event of a ship, the VT Neja appearing in Maru having been severed in half yesterday, a vigorous search is underway for the remaining part of the ship and hopefully the rest of its crew. The Mayfly Ventari uh, medium freighter VT Neja appeared in Maru after a scheduled jump from Galileo with many of its internal rooms exposed to naked space and the remains of many of its crew members still aboard. Search parties from both the Magellan Empire and Galilean Command are exploring the region looking for the other half of the ship. The Neja will be found, said Davo Sobel Governor Prescott Murphy. The Galilean Command does not lose ships through freak accidents like this, and I intend to lend any support I can to ensure the real reason for this malfunction is found. 
If it is, as some people are suggesting, a jump drive failure, which inadvertently caused this, then we will collaborate in finding the missing half of the Neja and determining the guilty party. Mayfly ships typically house a medium-scale jump drives from either Kruger Interstellar or the Devast company. So far, neither company has commented on the event. Effects to Leo. A high-ranking member of the secretive Parsis Union organization, the Union and Brotherhood of Parsis, has allegedly defected to Leo today, according to the sources who leaked the news to the Times. Okay, I gotta be careful about uh, the usual, you know, asteroids and such, but... It seems like we've already uncovered this space, so we should be fine. Let's also power up our jumper driver. I wonder what happens if you have your jump drive damaged and you decide to jump. Maybe something like that? I would like to find that ha other half of the ship, but... Uh, I kind of doubt that's going to happen. We need to go to Galileo. I want to meet our uh, old colleague... And maybe find that other part of the ship. I don't know. We'll just turn to the other side because we're going to be... What? Rotate. Rotate, please. Okay. I guess it's because of the autopilot. Yes. I do like that, that it, it's actually showing you this garbled stuff because the... because the module is damaged. That's pretty cool. Attention freighter Nomad Explorer, prepare to be scanned. Alright. Almost there. We're gonna come to a full stop when we get to the desired quadrant. Hull temperature is not increasing because we're not close enough to the, uh, to the star. Oh. Calculate the solution. Oop. And then we're gonna jump. Attention, Sea Wolf. Contraband detected. A fine is being issued. I wonder how much they fine you for it. It's probably like two times the value of whatever contraband you have or something. I don't know. Off we go. Oh, we got a new message. I do like all those sound effects of everything starting up again and stuff. It's pretty cool. Alright, so now we have to go to the prison planet. Crystal Montage. Rise station. There is the prison planet. I mean, station. Uh, that one. Alright. Off we go. Lots and lots of nebula here. Greetings, Captain. A colleague of the Ulan's Federation here in Sagan's Light have, has recently reached out to us to inform us of your good track record and trustworthiness. As such, we'd, uh, we'd entering? We're entering you into our system now as a registered freelancer for Ulan's Federation contracts. Excellent. I trust this news fits with your current work schedule and that you find the work fits your abilities well. Thank you and kind regards. Excellent. <clears throat> so we'll need to go to Sagan's Light to... Um, Find out what's uh, what we can get. Another one from Mulan's Federation. Oh, thank you for assisting the Sagan's Light project and the advancement of society it represents. Your tasks uh, will be the transport of various goods on behalf of the Yulin's Federation to assist our researchers in their mission to make a Polonian life superior to life on Earth in every way possible. We will increase the number of contracts available to you as you complete more, but please be aware that we suffer no time wasters and will not hesitate to pull your license should you fail to get the goods to their destinations on time. Okay. Alright, so we are... Oh, batteries are getting damaged now as well. That's okay, though. We're still good. There's an unknown there. I want to try my grappling arm. So what did you say about the grappling arm? Because I did that really quickly. Uh, I didn't tell you why it's worth going to all those other unpopulated systems. Okay, so it's in the unpopulated. Okay. I better have some countermeasures and such for there, though. I don't want to be... I don't know, with my pants down. If you know what I mean. Oop. 
Falcon Authority. That's why I didn't want to go uh, uh, silent here. Because with the IFF off, it's just not very nice. I'm guessing I will be doing IFF off in those uh, other systems, though. In the unpopulated ones. That was weird. Oh, good. Okay, now it's stopped. The game was... I mean, the audio was crackling and all that stuff again. Download! So we're supposed to get a message from a prison guard here and then forward it. Okie dokie. Yeah, collect the letter from the prison guard there, then message it to Mahuikan Ngata. We'll probably go to Sagan's Light after this and try to uh, go to Galileo. I really want to meet our old friend after so much time. And hopefully there's not a time limit on it. It's probably a false positive, so close and not moving. Pemtech sensor system hosts. Interesting. What does that do, actually? It's still docking. No hosts. Hmm. Well, let's pay 10, <laughs> 10 credits. I like that. Don't have to talk to him. <clears throat> Can I re do repairs here? No, that's just for the hull. Ah, oh, there he is. Lo uh, loading guard. You're Mih uh, Mihawika's friend? Uh, our friend is a stretch, but in this context, yes. Cute, huh? I don't really have time for cute. Look, I meant to give you this letter from Braun. Give me your details and I'll send it to you as a message. Uh, why do you need to send it that way? Easier than having physical contraband. Prison not a good place for that sort of thing. Transcribed it the second I got the opportunity. Okay, here are my details. Let's get it sent. All right, sent. Tell Mahuika I'm always happy to help. As long as she can pay. Take care out there. Okay, I will. Thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, okay. There's more to this place. And there's the licenses. Gas mines, I'll buy that. I'm just buying licenses all over the place, but... Um... Right, so now... Oh yeah, we have to forward the message to her. Well, let's let's take some contracts then, shall we? I don't know what she'll want uh, with us, but Adari Central Station, Magella, Kanza, <laughs> thirty-three credits. Yeah, right. I'm gonna do that. Ooh. Leo. That, that's nice, because I want to... That's in Leo. I want to get closer to Galileo. Yeah, I, c I can take the Leo one. So, let's see. This one is Maru. I kind of don't want to go there just yet. Leo. But just one going to Columbus. Yeah, let's take that. 60 hours. No passengers, unfortunately. Is there anything else we can buy here that's, like, below market price? Well, it's oxygen, but... Okay, I'll buy. I, I'll buy it. Let's buy it. 85. And below market hydrogen and helium. They're probably not going to buy that. All right. Let's bring this stuff there. Request permission to undock. Download now. Oh yeah, we also have to send the message. Loading gas mines. So yeah, that's the... The welcome. Send message. What? Do I have to undock first? I'm assuming. <clears throat> so we are going to Leo, but I can't jump there directly, unfortunately. Okay, so we have to be back there.
Another message. Unknown bronze letter. Received bronze letter. Okay. Let's reply. I hope you're getting the medical treatment you need. Attachment. Bronze letter. <laughs> Send. <clears throat> and she's already replied. I kind of wish there would, there would be a little bit of time until you got the reply. Thank you. You have served the noble cause well. Bronze letter is being circulated today. I've attached it below. Thought you might want to read it as well. I've also secured you a status as a freelancer for Herrera Interstellar, which should help you with your finances in the future. Message reads, It is with a heavy spirit that I declare that I, Bronislava Yulianova, am going on hunger strike. I am joined by nine of my comrades here in the Loney prison mines who have chosen to remain nameless for fear of retribution. Their names are not known like mine, therefore their lives are easier to erase. Still, they join me in this act of solidarity as a protest, a protest against the conditions we face here on the inside and you face there on the outside. We acknowledge that some of you that are free are starving. If we could share our daily half ration of protein with you, we would. But we are convinced that this is the only way to change our present situation. Celeste Delacroix is a scourge on our backs and on the back of the Diwalian system. Her daily violences carried out against us by our own siblings are too many to name. She considers herself a queen, but she is not. She is no more than a pawn in the system that privileges the few over the many and which thrives on your suffering. Kimik Okpik is a coward and a criminal. Every strike he claims to have made on our behalf has been for himself. From the time for the, uh, from the first Leon Magellan war till today, he handed Loni to Delacroix on a plate and still she thumbs her nose at him, despite her lowly status. So do the pirates that really run our system, or uh, our siblings driven to bar uh, bar bar Barbary to feed their own? What? Oh, so do the pirates, okay. Now Mariano Herrera has returned, a, par a, pro a prodigal son of the Diwalinese Republic. But we know that he too has turned a blind eye against corruption in order to preserve his own power. We must not accede to the role of his new leaf. He can join with us, fight for us, and perhaps be elected to lead us, but will, we will not accept his leadership to care, uh, carte de blanche. We must rise up. Now, before the Magellan Vampire sinks its fangs into our necks for the final fatal bite, we call on you on the outside. Join us on the inside. We call for nothing less than a storming of the Loney Mines. It is heavily fortified. There is food and fuel for decades. From here we move out to retake our system. We will create a Diwali that welcomes... What was that? Oh, there was a new message. Okay. Man, that uh, makes me jump. Uh, uh, I gotta press, press, press. It is heavily fortified. There is food and fuel for decades. From here on, we move on to retake our system. We will create a Diwali that welcomes our Kansan sibling siblings, that finds work and food for all, that will not tolerate a universe in which one person dies for the pleasure of another. We will unite. Okay. So we're sparking a riot, uh, uh, civil war. Welcome, Captain, to Herrera Interstellar. HI is a multifaceted logistics company. We are solutions focused and expect only the best from our freelancers. You will be tasked with transporting goods of various sorts and are expected to complete these tasks if you accept the jobs. Look for our contracts inside the Diwalinese Republic and its nearest neighbors. This is good because we're building ourselves a, uh, you know, many, many contracts. Uh across everywhere we go which means that anywhere we go we'll have lots of uh, opportunities we've got news child rearing a history <laughs> okay attempt mode on governor uh, attempt made shocking news story is emerging today as Magellan security forces Honduras were forced to cancel proceedings of a speech to be given by Kansan governor Derek Proud after an attack on his life was revealed the boat. Oh, it's part two of the pirate stuff. Oh, I want to read that. That's cool. Okay, so I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to leave it. And it can stop on its own with autopilot. Oh, we can do a full stop now. Because we're in the desired sea quadrant. Oh, man, I want to read that, but time runs when you do. And I do have a contract to fulfill. 
But that's that's really interesting uh, reading the pirate stuff. Begin jump. I do really like the fact that there's wear and tear on the systems of the ship, instead of just you know damage when you're in a fight. I really enjoy that. All right, attention, freighter Hawk. Hawk, be prepared to be scanned. Okay, now we're jumping to uh, Leo, right? Yes. Leo it is. Oh. Leo. Is that destination? And unfortunately, we have to go all the way to the... Oh, man, we're all the way on the other side. Oh. Okay, let's go this way first because I don't know where the asteroids will be. We're going to be have to be really careful here now. I cannot really read this, unfortunately. Oh, wait. The boat my host, who I'll call Jerry, operates is not really what you'd expect a pirate ship to be. It's a heavily modified Proxima-class boat. Fairly big, cumbersome, and painted jet black. Why would it be painted jet black? You don't really care what it's painted in space. I mean, everything is so far away, it doesn't matter. Oh well. As we head to the airlock, I notice it has two symmetrical solar wings on either side. Are they important? I ask. Oh, see? This is the really cool thing. This is another part of sort of a semi-tutorial semi there. Because it's gonna teach you more about stealth. No, 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 no. Oh. That's not good. Asteroids everywhere. This is so cool. I love it. How this is delivered. Uh, are they important, I ask? Sure. Turning on a reactor is death, he says, and we board his vessel, named after a certain famous outlaw maritime vessel of many, many centuries past. He asks what I can do aboard the ship, and I tell him honestly, why I lie, lie to a man who's like, uh, as like to space me as offer me cut-rate booze, that I worked power maintenance on a shipping run between Maru and Leo. Not too many nebula about that way, he notes. Nope. Pretty boring run. That's why I uh, became a scribe, I explain. I gotta keep an eye out on uh, the asteroids. <clears throat> so annoying. I want to read this. You don't look like any journalists I ever met, he says, st uh, staring me up and down from my pump boots, boots to my tank top. He lingers a little shorter than I used to on my neckline. You don't look like any pirate I've ever met either. You meet many in your line of work, he asked. Just the kind that steal computer software, I said. <laughs> he guffaws and shows me to the main control room. Sleeping in the pilot's chair is a graying woman in her fifties, an empty glass to one side. Jerry ignores her and takes me straight to the power station. We run custom software. I'll give you a rundown before we make our way. Okay, we're good here. Uh, I'm gonna try going... No, no, no. Well, I suppose I could. It's a little too close for comfort there, um, if I'm gonna read the news in the meantime. Okay, nothing so far. Let's see. We're on our software. I'll give you a rundown before we make way. But the short version, you never ever turn on the reactor, okay? We're on off solar and battery power unless I give the okay. Even if it means we run dead and emergency lights kick in, you do not turn on the reactor. Got that clear? Yeah, see? So you can run on the solar things. I nod, running a drunken finger along the side of the stainless steel power console. Now, we got a list of instructions to one side here, but the basics are your, uh, are you call when we hit 60, 40, and 20% power across all batteries. You call it out without hesitation, and you repeat yourself three times across the one MC. Got that? Ah, uh, see, see, that, that, ah, ah, that's exactly why I need to keep going back. That's moving. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I do not like that at all. <clears throat> okay, false positive. I guess it was just, a. Uh, Asteroid or something. Damn, I want to read this. Ah, it's every time I need to scroll down and you cannot use the scroll wheel. That's really annoying. Can I? No. Nope. 
Uh, let's see. For those of you playing at home, the 1MC is the ship-wide noisemaker. When you're on a cheap ferry from Punta Arenas to Ternate, Ternate, and the captain appears on crackly speakers all over the ship to tell you there's a nice view out the port side before halfway rotation, that's the 1MC you're cursing for being too loud. You ever done module tuning before, he asks. I admit that no, not really, so he explains that a key part in staying hidden for us is ensuring all our main modules are tweaked to minimize emissions for the most part, unless we're in a nebula. Interesting, so if they're... Uh, so if they're at... Oh, where the hell am I supposed to go? I'm gonna lose that contract, I'm gonna be too late. So if... So if they're at maximum efficiency, they also have less emissions. Okay. <clears throat> right, last part now. Uh. Oh, no, 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 no. Unless we're in, in Nebula. That'll be your job too, he says. Watch the battery life and ensure every module had the right configuration systems. Regardless of general use drift. Not a problem. Time to be a pirate. Wait, so she is actually going to be uh, doing it... Actively? I mean, as a journalist, you cannot really partake in stuff if you want to be impartial and if you, you know, don't want to cause... Um, cause illegal stuff yourself. I'm almost considering going tomorrow. We are in Sector D. Oh, look at this stuff. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, discharge. Jump drive, not spawn up. Okay. Damn. I'm doing two things at once. Come on. Stop. I'm just gonna go tomorrow first. Because this is just horrible. I don't know where the heck we, we can go get out of this uh, asteroid belt. Come on. Okay, now charge the thing again. Yeah, look, we're all the way on the edge of the system. This is horrible. What a horrible place. I guess we can go up there somewhere. Maybe I could go through here. I'm not sure. But right now, I don't really care. I'm just gonna go to Maru. And hopefully, they, they're not after our, uh, our hide anymore. But anyway, we're gonna continue next time. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next part of Objects in Space. Bye-bye.